life could be dream. The Bronx is a borough of New York City, home to 1.3 million people, the place where immigrants fled to escape the slums of Lower Manhattan in the early 20th century, to find stable neighborhoods that became gateways to the middle class, thanks in part to its public schools. And it was and is home to a legendary high school that graduated tens of thousands of young people. Clinton grads shared their creativity with the city, the country, and even the world. New York, New York, what a wonderful town. The Bronx is up, the battery's down. Words by Adolph Green, went to Clinton. When I'm talking about the civil rights movement, don't I have to mention that James Baldwin went to David Clinton High School? In fact, at one time, Clinton graduated more people who went on to earn PhDs than any other school in the country. All of us working class kids were proud to attend Clinton, to be part of its rich tradition. Of course, that was back in the day when teachers were admired, not bashed, and public schools were considered the cornerstone of our culture. This was a place where you could stimulate them and show them that there is something else in the world. There's a place for you and you can make it. There was a spree de corps. There was a dee would see and anywhere I go now people start singing that song. I actually feel more sentimental about David Clinton than I do about the colleges I went to. And that, I think, is the, the spirit that I found at Clinton. We all dedicated our lives to it. It was, a, it was like a, a mission to everybody who worked there. I found the teachers great. I found the teachers inspiring. The teachers cared. They really cared about these kids. All of this, and a school that served New Yorkers for over a hundred years, was put at risk in danger of closure, all in the name of educational reform, as a private industry lobbies to make all schooling a profitable business. Culture and art and music and everything else and just critical thinking go by the wayside when you teach to a test. Uh, this is what our school system has become and it's very sad. It was the Department of Education that brought Clinton down by dumping troubled students there who have serious problems learning. Teachers, parents, alumni, and students were up in arms, rallying to save the school and the tradition it represents. We cannot take no bonus. The Bronx without the Wick Clinton High School is like Manhattan without Stuyvesant High School. Apparently, Dewood Clinton received an F rating from the Department of Education more than once. So what, we have an F rating. There are students that do just as well in this school as they do in other schools, other specialized high schools, and that's just not fair. It's really hard to see how we work together, how teachers teach the kids over time, and how they prepare us for college and life. We should uh, try to fix it, not nix it, and to, to support the school in such a way uh, that it could return to the days of glory that it, it knew not that many years ago. The challenges facing Clinton and schools like it are big ones in an age of growing inequality, and the education experts don't always agree with what needs to be done. We are at a moment of major structural transitions. The larger story has a deeper context, the value and importance of public education as a cornerstone of diversity and democracy, which along with the middle class itself is now being attacked. A good public education should be the right of everybody. And also, it's more than a right. It, it, it's, it's something that we all need. Do it see a lion, see a word. We're in danger of losing this great door to the future for so many young people. Fairest of high schools, give her three times three. Oh. They don't think that public schools can work. They think that public school teachers are lousy. They think big schools are impractical. I have four words for those people. Deal with Clinton High School. For you and me. For you and me. For you and me. For you and me. <laughs>